This is Tita on Plus TV Africa, where we bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, to do the talking with me, I have my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa mm. She's Hi. directing her voice. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good. Good it was weekend. a good weekend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mm. Okay, you have to tell us more than that. Mm -mm. Oh, it was a good weekend. Good weekend. Mm. Mm. Very that, good. That there's a glow to you. Does it have such to do with I glow daily, fam. Okay. No, 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 this you glow. know, I this, glow. This glow is different. Even when I'm broke, I glow. <laughs> no, but this glow is different. Does it have really? anything to do with the weekend? I can't see the glow you're talking about, so I would smiling know. from here to here. That's wow. just like <laughs> Okay, let's let's move on in peace. So we won't say what we are not supposed to say. <laughs> um Big Brother Niger, of course, was the rave of um the moment yesterday and of course on Saturday. Um but Twitter reacts as Keisha gets evicted from the Big Brother house. Please, did you see the way she was pushing people? She was what? Pushing them. She didn't want to hug them because they were. Oh! <laughs> like, eh, it's okay. Mm, mm, mm. It's okay. I'm like, girl. Like, look, you not nominate me. Uh -uh. What are you hugging? She but I time. mean, I think we've said this before, and there's a lot of conversation around it on social media as well. Big Brother Nigeria mm. is trying to behave like INEC because I don't understand. Mm. Why, are, why, if the votes are not necessary, why are you making people vote? Why are you making mm. people converse? Because if you follow the um, what they already displayed as well as the um, how people voted, Keisha is not supposed to go At home. All. Not even the second you know, person. not even the second person. She's, I mean, um, there's Tricky T, there's Watoni, there's, there's Neo, and then uh, is that one yeah. other person? No, Neo, what? New and tricky she was ahead of Okay, them. so I, I don't understand having people vote and then you then come out to say the housemates are voting. You need to choose one yeah. struggle. Are we supposed to vote for these people or are you going to have the housemates decide? I mean, based, it's not like I have any special likeness for mm. how or anything, but based on what is going on, it's just making me lose interest, really. Mm. I feel like if they did, if they did it where one house, the housemates gets to, um, push out one person mm -hmm. and then our votes still count in one way mm -hmm. I feel like you keep the thing balanced I, I mean I do like the idea sort of that your strategy in the house and how you do with the housemates has an impact on how you stay mm -hmm. I feel like you need to be reminded that you know you're in a house with other people and stuff like that so I kind of like that idea per se but then to give all the power to the housemates for me is a bit is a bit much, but I, I still feel like Kaisha going wasn't the most undeserving thing that has ever happened. Yeah, um, definitely. I think she actually was ready to go. Um, she always had that mindset of like, they didn't like me in the house. And it was, it had different mechanisms throughout the house that it stayed. I think last week though, you could see she was beginning to let loose of that and the boys were beginning to really draw her in with Lake Horn and all she those people. She gave us more drama. It was kind of, yeah, she gave us drama as well. <laughs> so it's kind of nice, but... I think I think I personally think she actually wanted to go. I don't think she minded. And if you see the interview after with um, Ibuka, Ibuka. The, she didn't want she to. She said talk, the same thing. She said nobody yeah. likes her. I, I, and I, I don't know why you want to be in a place where you think that nobody likes you. Hmm. Basically, um, Keisha is one of those people that left, and I couldn't be bothered. Like. I just felt not because, like you said, not I don't have any special likeness for her. I don't have any hatred for her. I just feel like just I I had to like house. think about her face. I, any other yeah, I had house. to think of her face. Like, oh, okay, okay, Keisha, you get like. I didn't have to think about you if you were that relevant. Do you mm. understand? So, and this is a game. Everybody needs to be reminded of that. So maybe yeah, this is just... Everyone needs to go home at some point. So, except yeah, this, <laughs> everyone is going to go home. But maybe this is just a scapegoat for people. Nia should why, have gone home. No, yeah. I don't... No, you know why? You know why? You know why? Based on the... Yes, yes. No, 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 no. That's why, that's why I'm getting to that. This and is And they did game. the same thing. That was why Lilo went home. Let's not forget. Yeah. Lilo was not supposed to go because home Because people well. need to be reminded that this is... People, how? They don't tell us to save Relax, anybody. No. People need to be reminded that this is a game, right? Even so in the house or us? The people in the house as well. Mm. Need, and even us need to then be the reminded that, Then the communication needs to be clear. Your vote is not saving anybody. You just vote for graphics. <laughs> well, I think, so it, brings, we'll I think it brings the, um, what's it called, the suspense to the game because you don't know what to expect. Know you don't know what to expect. Suspense. That is the only way to raise oh, revenue. We need to think about the business no, side of it as well. If not, they won't be playing this game they're playing. Well, if, if, if the, 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 the revenue vote, was the really telecommunication, about the voting power, the telecommunication they won't be doing what they're doing. Yeah. I feel okay. like they should have done I think they've gotten the money they needed, really. If not, But in my opinion, I just think that everybody needs to be reminded that this is a game. If you're not giving us enough content, then you have no use to the game. Okay, so who would this is giving you enough content right now right, right now, now. Mm -hmm. Personally, not based on personally, Lekon, because Lekon is the laughing stock of it. 
<laughs> he's a laughing. I don't know if you guys saw the one where a guy put his hand on the screen and was praying Pray for, for Likon. Like, yeah. ah, that this guy needs to be rid of whatever is wrong with mm. him. Because he's doing better. I think. Yeah, I think he's recovering. Yes, yeah, so yeah. recovering for what? Uh, he, yes. went, he went for AA <laughs> meetings and stuff. Hi, my Saturday's name is Lekon way. and I am a lover boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lekon. Uh, and the problem is not him being a lover boy, it's the way he's going about it. And from I, I didn't follow this past week like I did the previous week, but mm. he still kept on talking about Eric. She came, he was just like, Whoa, just turned around and walked away and kept on his vibe mm. and everything. So, good, good job, Lekon. <sighs> okay, trying. good luck to them all, really. Yeah, it's not easy it. to be in this game, but no. I'm sure they will enjoy the fame if there's anything to enjoy in fame. And I don't know why people, some people are actually not, don't let me say why people, but I, I okay, so I went to get a haircut like you said last weekend. I didn't get it when you said the, it is the saloon that is the best place to hear about Big Brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, you that's get it now. all they talk about, <laughs> like. Plus male, plus female, everybody. So plus the clients are coming to I talk feel about like it Big Brother. It reminds me of back then when we didn't have that much social media. We used to run for Super Story and things like that. I, I personally, I like the idea that we can all have some something. Something we are to, all yeah. watching. Yeah. I feel like but that's the only. Something something that so that everybody was like, "Ah, no, Erica, I'm not feeling her again. She's beginning to misbehave. She's beginning mm. to misbehave." So, but I didn't get it because I didn't really follow a lot last of Big Brother yeah. this weekend mm. and last week. So I, I didn't really she get is it. So to she misbehave a bit. Um, I think that I think the problem with Erica is that. She she says a lot more than she can do. Mm. So if, he, if she's vexing, she's saying, you know, I'm done. You know what, we're friends now. This is rough. And then the next minute, mm. <laughs> so, no, really. Yeah, it's well, a bit of a... Well, kid guy, yeah. Kid, that's, I see. I still stand both of them. That kid boy, mm. I like. I like. <laughs> okay, let's you know, move like on. like the third thing. Abby. Anyway, so Lagos assures content producers um, registration and tax payments will benefit everyone. The Lagos State Film and Video Census Board um, has assured stakeholders in the entertainment industry that the plan taxing and registration of content will serve their interests and that of the industry. In a statement by its head of public affairs, Mrs. Deola Lawal, on Saturday in Lagos, the board said it had noted the misgivings of some stakeholders about the plan registration and assured them that the initiative would not in any way hurt the industry or practitioners. The statement, as reported by NAN, notes that the policy is designed to resolve all the challenges in the entertainment industry, such as piracy, funding, and effective distribution. It will also promote discipline in practitioners' associations and curb the presence all commerce and all systems work affairs. The comprehensive initiative also encompasses mass job creation, profitable investment guarantee, and accelerated rural area development. This is still very ambiguous because we still don't get it. <laughs> uh, but the things they said they would do is sounding sweet to It's sounding sweet for who? Funding. Exactly. For the like, content creators. But yeah, the thing uh, is, do I believe that they would do this? That's that's my own problem. I mean, it's a well-written speech. It kind of looks like, oh, you're, you're really paying attention. You know what our problems are what do they really have the capacity to do and if you have the capacity to do what have you put in place to start doing for us mm. to know because i saw a i mean he's one of the renowned um, filmmakers in nigeria chris he he did a trade i don't know if you saw it where he was talking about how um lagos state to frustrate you or how the government frustrates you so basically he used the korodu boys as a a reference where he mentioned all the things they have they've had to go through to come, get to where they are now and then netflix came to their aid cooling Afalaya is coming to their aid and then you're saying when somebody like that now creates a content you want to reap it it's basically you reaping where you did not so mm. so that's what he was trying to say and i get them trying to get funds from this industry to also help the industry but what have you even done to give them that trust to say you know what the government is interested in helping us build this industry i, 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 I feel like when if i was saying that it was um, a, a bit uh, vague i agree but not in the sense that what she was saying i still don't know who they're charging so who oh, yeah. are you That's what charging I'm saying. exactly is it the um, Kurdu boys and everybody else in com in, in compassion. Because or content creators else. are. And then also, are, are I don't understand categories. this narrative. It's it's absolute BS to me because they are taking taxes already to people who they can allegedly tax anyway that, that I wouldn't mind. Okay. They're already taxing those people and we haven't done anything before. It's very easy to um, remove uh, privacy without double taxing people. Mm -hmm. It's super easy to um, put systems in place for distribution without double taxing people. So this sounds like somebody that's really good with words. Yeah. But very good with words mm -hmm. and is even empathetic about her stealing. <laughs> and like, you know, she knows how to really drive the emotion. But at the well, same... That's her job. Yeah, um, honestly, but at the same time, I still feel like it's really cruel and unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It would be weird for me to 
to trust that the little that you've gotten, you have done nothing with it. But when I double it, you now do something with it. It's it just like sense. the ride hailing um, um, tax as well that they are bringing in. You know, initially it was supposed to be 10 million naira and all that. Then they went back to say, oh, there's a meeting and now their yearly fee is supposed to be, no, their fee is supposed to be 8, eight million naira and then they reduce the re renewal and all. And then the one that caught my attention is that this um, taxing will help them um, ensure that there is a better environment and fix the road. I'm like, all the whole tax people are be collecting. There's, I think Lagos it. Road is really terrible right now. And you're saying, does this mean that in the next six months, mm. we are going to see that the roads will be better, it will be smooth, it won't just be that, okay, there's a road, but when you're driving, it's, it's stressful. I don't know. They kept mentioning stakeholders, stakeholders, stakeholders. And I'm wondering that before you make this... Um, policy did you sit she down with the stakeholders, stakeholders to make because everybody decision. outside in the public are acting like they're not the stakeholders so, you who, is, so who, is, who is who is the stakeholder the who is informed about this so maybe you are not telling us right so let the stakeholders from various industries of content creators come out and be like okay my people Explain this it. is exactly what is going on nobody is doing that, that nobody is in the, done, in they're the saying that but they're telling that. us at the same time do not jump into conclusion okay. until there's a further policy to be and so they're still working on how to communicate it to us they're working on how to still from us, Mrs. Lawal. Yeah, Lawal, you know how to up. tell us the best Come lie. The mm. best but, lie. Uh, she is Mrs. Lawal. <laughs> Come off it, man. They, they, wanna, they just want to tell us the best lie, but we'll, we'll be here to we're listen. Waiting. Thank and like God, we always angry. do, like we say, we can all be angry and all that. We will still accept them. Yeah, yeah but then, I mean, I like how you put that because stakeholders as well, only God know who the stakeholders mm -hmm. are, but they need to start talking because I think we have also reached out to, so, to some stakeholders and mm. they decline speaking. Oh, we don't want to talk about it. Mm. Oh, we don't want to talk about it. When we keep um, cultivating this culture of we don't want to talk about it, so we will not look like we are the enemies to the government, then nothing would really be done because mm. um, if you don't talk about it, how do they even understand what they are doing that isn't right? Mm. So you need to start using the right platform to actually I, talk I, I about this, ask the right questions I, I and give them ideas. It will just fly like that. I've seen a lot of people. Especially when it comes to people on social media, I've seen them gather together and really nullify a lot of points. So I don't know. I'm not saying that we're going to win this battle per se, if the battle is worth fighting for. But I don't think it will just go down like, eh, we shall just be. Mm. Do you have many people are involved in this? How many? This is like a youth-centered um, thing that you're doing. A lot of people are using the social media and digitalization as a side business. They're not just going to go Somebody like that. Somebody said, I'll pay the government with exposure. <laughs> Since I'll pay me with exposure. But anyway, tea time continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Mala we like woo. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Lita is in a copyright drama. He's accused of heavily plagiarizing G Okay. The video air is on social media <laughs> and i mean they had to put it side by side and i can't even defend it but some are saying that he this is a deliberate attempt at pr uh -huh. so i don't know what do you think he felt? Uh, that was what i thought at first too when i saw it i was like okay this has to be very intentional because a lot of people said okay this is it shouldn't be lighter that should be dragged into this that it should be the music director mm -hmm. the um, music video director that put it together then again i thought about it that what if this is intentional to to help his international fan base get people talking and this is happening the guy already said he loved it so he had to recreate it on top of somebody's work hmm. <laughs> he didn't recreate it he copied and pasted there's a very very big difference mm. i think he, he, he mm, for me i don't see i don't see it as them being that smart i think they were actually quite stupid to copy and paste word for word if you see the visualization thing that beyonce does now where she pull you have you in the same color line 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 it's everywhere people are re re 
digesting that, shuffling it, and pouring back into our faces. Even Koroba, because that Tiwa Savage song, mm. the same visuals, and um, there's a girl in um, Ghana, all of them, Sha, a lot of people are using that type of style. If you said that you liked it so much and you copied it, that's what that means. But if you copy and paste, same for same, same, for same. and you're not like you even rearranged it, like, oh, I like this one that they were like little people in the cup, I put in the first scene, and then, no, no, no. You just did like copy and paste. Which literally. is why I don't want to believe anyone is that stupid to they do that. There are people that, so that are very stupid. Really, it's like me copying because you. Let me let, 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 let's go back to secondary let, let, school let now. I'm copying you. your work and I'm writing it. Have, have, uh, uh, have you not yeah. seen dumb people that have done that? That would I regret giving them my homework to copy because they'll get us into trouble. They'll never like do uh, paraphrase and put some extra words. They'll literally copy and paste. Even when I make a mistake and cancel, they'll also make a mistake and cancel. Uh, I mean, I said, uh, Come on. Uh, okay. uh, 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 you're loud, bro. Uh, okay. uh, uh, well, uh, are you not saying that? Like, I don't say that there's people like that. But they are so the last, last. So, <laughs> Did they think that the cancel was it's part, part of, of the thing? thing uh, because for me, if he was genuinely um, honest about that, we would have seen him write that somewhere in his process. Because mm. I went to the guy's tweet, the, no. this director guy's tweet, and he talked about the mm. video, talked about when they were shooting, talked about all his emphasis, he even talked about Lagos Road or something. There's a lot. If you go to his Twitter, there was no mention of something that you love so much that you copied you copy word it. for word. He's never mentioned it one time. Nah, it, 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 it makes it intentional. It, I feel like if he's going to claim that, it's because you people have helped him to give him that idea. That was not that guy's intention. Okay, that guy's not that smart to come up with that type nah, of No, I copied and pasted. It's the kind of person that scratched the mistake. Didn't you <laughs> see that I also scratched mistakes here? Like, he'd not even try to paraphrase. Who does that? Mm -mm. Well, whatever it is, I just hope it works out for them. And then if they're slammed with the lawsuit... Nah, man, and, says plagiarism. And... Plagiarism called polygamy. Ne? I mean, I, I don't even want to bring him into this conversation, but fortunately, um, Lighter is under him. So there's <laughs> well, what no way. What just said <laughs> now is very, very stupid. What if it was a good boy that directed Lighter's new video? Wow. Is it, is, oh, that was, uh, okay, I think it's just a stupid thing going on in, with the Malians to uh, this period. Uh, uh, I tried to justify. Hmm? I tried to justify. No, no, I'm saying it's just a very stupid tweet saying that uh, what if it was the Gorodu boys? What have the Gorodu boys? Because the the Gorodu boys they Africa. create, but they even when they put a Benz there, they are using a wheelbarrow. Mm. You understand? But in your case now, the girl had um, the makeup kits going on. You had that same thing. It was sitting in the um, M and M tray, and you had your no, smaller. No, and the difference is that has not been no. slammed with the lawsuit. No, and yet. the difference is that the Gorodu boys are saying that from day one that they are copying something. Look at me, guys. I'm copying something. Your intention with this is not to act like you were copying something. Mm. Your intention was to make a video directed. A music video for someone and capitalize on that. If you're going to borrow people's artwork, you have to give and um, I, credit, I and you I didn't give credit, so you were definitely on. stealing. This is not a Korodu boy. This is not a, a gullible person. It's not his first music video. He cannot act naive. Then another thing is, um, I don't know if you guys picked on what Kunle Afolayan said the last time we had a conversation with him when he said that um, the music for. The equal, I didn't get the memo. The tea went up, came down together. Okay, nice. That um, um, what's it called now? That the Kurudu boys. If it was so, some other part of the world, they'll probably be slammed for using the music for not being able to do their own score for yeah. those recreations themselves. Yeah. But really, that's what it should be. So I think these guys also should be slammed for copyright it issues has to unless they're the Asian person. I don't think that. But I, yeah. they might not be interested because it's also helping their fan base over there. Because now they have Nigerian fans. We've gone to watch that video. Do you know how many streams they have already? I it's so. it's it's all it's a win-win situation for both parties. Okay, we'll see how this plays out. If it's really a win-win situation for them. But moving on, Shatawale joins Akode to perform at Black Love virtual concert, and this is um, joyful for many because this is the first time they are seen on stage together for the longest time. So. Yeah. Congratulations. Aww. Oh, because I, I don't know what <laughs> we're supposed to do. So know. you're not happy that the three three S is happy? Yes, now three S. They are finally in sync, working sort of, together. Yeah. There's mm. no more fight, fight. Chatawale will buzz. Uh, I feel like. Sakode, Sakode will buzz the boy. Thing, like this, uh, what's it called now? Reconciliation thing. We've seen it with everybody. So it doesn't sound like big news to me. So when you guys beef and you said so, I believe that sometimes but I even if believe. if you're on this table and saying you need harmony and you're saying the harmony, why are you, why are we like this human beings? I'm saying why I'm not bothered. Why can't you appreciate I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. I'm just saying I'm not there bothered. There is peace. There is harmony. <laughs> but you wanted the harmony before. Now yeah, you have I'm it. Not, you're not bothered. Hey, I'm not bothered. Like... Uh, do you know what I'd rather be talking about this concert, this okay. uh, Black Love concert? It's the fact that the cra the sites crashed. Yeah, the number of people that, that came 
on to, to watch, watch it. it. And yeah. then they gave us a list of countries, one of them 1.3 million from Ghana, mm. like 907 from Spain. Like, mm. the, like the numbers were incredible. And I was like really proud of that, man. Mm. Okay, it's like the Ghanaian also have the international stage. Don't, 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 play. don't play with nobody, <laughs> man. Like don't they're actually play. streaming and Sako they did a great job. Yeah. And um, I'm sure all this controversy also helped. So that's what I'll be, that's what- Shut that's, the web down. <laughs> that's what I'll be talking about, you know, when it comes to this, not the fact that they're um, Mishatawali. I mean, it's, it's fine, it's I mean, fine, it's I mean, fine. I mean, I have, I like the idea of the fact that you shouldn't forget to celebrate um, or appreciate when people have come together or whatever. But I'm also with you on the on the sense that I don't need to praise grown people for acting grown. Like <laughs> be on the to stage together, like not acting grown. Yes. yes no. I personally no, I get what you people are saying. It's not like it's a big deal like saving the world, yeah. But personally it's I feel like when you take out time to bash someone or not even just about I didn't take out now. time oh. I schooled you. <laughs> okay, whether <laughs> you took out time to school or bash or university them, mm. when they start acting right, just acknowledge it as well to say, Oh, nice, you've listened and this is what we expected of you and move on. It's just like when you, those kind of people that like to call haters where you see someone, the person will look good from Monday to Friday, it's not your business. But when the person has one small wardrobe malfunction mm. on Saturday, that's when you go to the person and say, ah, why is your clothes looking like that this? That one is very different, but it's not very different. Because it's, it's, it's mm. that one is materialism mm. now. And, and uh -huh. about, we're talking about people's behaviors here. We're talking about grown men acting violent. Uh -huh. Of course they're going to school that. But if they're okay. on stage together performing, mm. like his business. I'm not, if let's say they were now maybe doing bro in the house, I was like, oh, so yeah, they they really, got they, on they're on stage. I should now say, talk. like, wow, you're on okay, stage. Okay, I hear. It's not ah. a big deal to you guys, but it's a big deal for me. Thank you for embracing peace. Odo, Odo is all we need, right? <laughs> yeah. Odo okay. is wife for my love, like, my love. The other day, we said Odo is peace. Now it's wife. No, we said Odo is peace. What language is Odo? It's okay. Gan, let's, it's let's tree. Oh, Odo right. is my love. So when, um, what's the name of this artist who came to talk about um, um, the political parties and we're talking about and at the end she said Odo is all we need. What love? does that mean? Does that, is it love? No, she, she didn't She did. O-D-O -O is all we need. So except you want to give me the pronunciation of that one now because it's stuck in my head. Well, me, I we need a Ghanaian on this thing to settle this matter. Yeah, we, we do. do it after the show. We do, but um, very quickly we'll before we go, Omotola says she has COVID-19. Hmm. Omotola Jelade Kendi. Mm. Ah, I do have to go back to tell them. There can be another motor line. <laughs> well, um, it's still to let people know that, look, no matter what, as you're going I, out... Can I ask, why don't people believe when celebrities come out to say that they because have COVID-19? They when AK said it, did you doubt? Who? Who, uh, when AK said he had mm. COVID-19, nobody doubted him. There was somebody else too that... But you see our Nigerian celebrities, eh, there's, our character is unique every time. So, <laughs> we wish had the best. I think they are part of the people who believe in stigmatization when who? you say Nigerian celebrities. Oh, no, no, Nigerian, Nigerian celebrities. Right. Because when you, you see the way the... American celebrities, when they have COVID, the South African, the AK, they actually put out a statement like, look, it's not a death sentence. I'm going to recover, but this is the state of my health right mm -hmm. now. But I don't know. There's this Nigerian thing like we have to be secretive. We have to tell you small so that mm -hmm. that year will not Up come into soon. the... Uh, so that um, they will not fed you more and then to lead to death. You know, this our stupid... <laughs> superstitious mentality that's mm. what i see every time they all come out like is it that they're telling us too late or mm. they are telling us in a way that is not really straight mm. that won't really make people be empathetic right. about it mm. do you understand mm. so i really feel like it's intentional the way they put it out there because of our superstitious mentality mm. of mm, you can't give people too much information. But mm. I think we need to stop that. As a public figure, your business is my business. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. I wish her well. She mm. says she's in isolation and recovering. So hopefully she will come back with her um, negative results soon. Mm. And yeah. I'm hoping for the vaccine to start to make a lot more progress. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know that it's, it's in people's bodies right now. And it was, we're waiting mm. for if it would work and stuff. So... I'm, I'm waiting for the point where we will stop talking about COVID-19 like it's a big deal. Like, mm. that would be really mm. nice. Yeah. yeah. And get some normalcy back. So, yeah. I, I hope I hope she's recovering okay. All right. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And do join the conversation by sending your opinions via WhatsApp to 09060 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Remain Celsi Godwin. Please do stay safe.